Angel, you don't love Lucas, you're just choosing him. Marilyn, what are you saying? I don't understand. You can drop the act, I know everything. About Smoke, your boyfriend in the United States. Your first husband, George. I know about it all, following Richard's script. What? Does Lucas know? Not yet, but I promise you, he won't hear about it from me. You will keep my secret? On one condition. Just name the condition. Tell me what your plan is. That's all. Yes, I might even help you. Great, I'll spill. The same sweet and gentle angel reached into her purse, brought out a small bottle of alcohol and gulped it right before Marilyn. Look it's not my fault that I love Smoke so much. He's a criminal but Smoke loves me too. Back then when I got pregnant with Smoke's baby again, the doctors warned me that I couldn't afford another abortion, yet Smoke didn't want to father a child, so I had to look for a figurehead husband, because my parents must never find out about the pregnancy out of wedlock. They will also not approve of any husband I pick for myself abroad. They will only approve of a man from Nigeria here, and so I had to go through the trouble of traveling down here to get an unassuming man, to lure. I must do my parents' bidding since I need their funding to stay abroad. They know I'm a junkie, but they've turned a blind eye. That's why they send me abroad so I won't tarnish their image here with my lifestyle. <laughs> Back then, I was pregnant with Smoke's baby before I traveled down. So, the moment I got engaged to George, my first husband, I slept with him and I pinned the pregnancy on him. When we traveled back to the United States, after our marriage, I kept up with the act. But after I had the baby, I showed him my true colors. Sweet George could not believe he was married to a junkie. In actual fact my parents were happy to marry me off because I'll no longer bear their name and can't disgrace them anymore with my lifestyle. They wanted it to remain that way and so they told George to be an understanding husband. George was aware of my affair with Smoke, but chose to endure it all because of the child. The fool thought it was his baby. Anyways, he committed suicide the day he realized that even the child wasn't his. He was already a living dead since the moment he married someone like me anyways. And now Lucas? Yes, because once again, I'm carrying Smoke's baby. George the figurehead husband is dead, I need another one. Lucas like George is smitten by me. His parents were easily won over by my cash flow. You are such a perfect planner. I have mastered the art very well. Do you know how many surgeries I have undergone to achieve this timeless beauty and sexy body? You see, with the right tools, a beautiful face, a sexy body, and great acting skills, the job become very easy. Whether it's my drug lord boyfriend, Smoke or my figurehead husband-to-be, the spiritual Lucas. Men are all visual beings, and that makes them so easy to fool. Right now, everything is according to plan, except for one thing. Lucas wouldn't touch me, and I need to have sex with him in order to pin this pregnancy on him. That's the last piece, and that is where I need your help, Marilyn. So, you can destroy him like your first husband? Of course. That's her plan from the onset. Lucas said stepped in from his hiding place behind the kitchen door. He heard it all. What is going on here? Lucas, don't tell me you heard everything. I didn't mean anything I said, please. You are right. I was so easy to fool. I was carried away by your physical endowments, and I let my flesh lead me. This engagement is over. No. You can't call it off. Lucas, I'm already pregnant. If my parents find out that Smoke is the father, they will send me off to Aunt Lucy, never to return, meaning I would be separated from Smoke. That's my worst nightmare. I can't bear that. Lucas, please don't do this. Get out of my way. Thank you so much Kaz, thank you for everything. 
I am glad I agreed to Richard's plan. I am very sure that if I hadn't heard it all by myself from Angel, I wouldn't have believed it. Now, with the engagement called off, her parents will eventually find out about her pregnancy. Richard has gotten proof that she got pregnant before she even traveled down here. Once they realize the father, as soon as the baby is born, they will send her off to her dreaded aunt overseas, where she will not just be properly disciplined but also where she will be finally separated from her criminal boyfriend that she's obsessed with. And that is what Richard wants, that's why he came up with a plan in the first place. I plan to travel overseas like I told you. I have some conferences to attend, plus I intend to use this time for a personal retreat. I need to get back on track with God and all that. I understand, totally, when would you be back? I honestly don't know, but I'll let you know when I'm sure. Once again, thank you so much Kaz, for letting God use you to stop me from making a costly mistake. Gift, these delicacies are deliciously out of this world. How come you this good? Let's say it runs in the family. My dad is also a chef. As a child I was always with my dad in the kitchen, experimenting with him before I even learned to speak. Wow. I want to learn how to cook like you. I can cook basic dishes, but I want to learn these mouth-watering ones. As a professional chef, how much would you charge to teach me? I have a better idea. There is another way you can pay me. I want to take better care of myself and look more presentable. As a fashion consultant, you can pay me by teaching me how. Perfecto, trade by barter. On a Sunday, driving to the church. Welcome back, Cause. I am so glad you are back. Cause, I miss you terribly. Not as much as I did, you look much better than when you left. I feel much better. I made a mistake by disobeying God. I pray not to do that ever again. God really dealt with me. I'm back on track with God. Surprisingly, he repeated what he said the last time about gift. I haven't seen her since I left, months ago. You might hardly recognize her. I don't care anymore about what she looks like, or about her weird dress sense. God really opened my eyes. I am willing to love her just the way she is. Even as a friend, Gift is super amazing. I was a fool not to have realized it sooner. She might not be the dazzling beauty and all. It doesn't matter because she will always be beautiful in my eyes. I have even begun to miss her so much, and not just as a friend. I am going to get to know her better, woo her, and pray with everything I have that she will hear God about me, and agree to be mine. Hey Kaz. Are you sure Gift is in church today? I haven't seen her. Cause, I just saw you pass by her minutes ago. No, I haven't seen her. There she is. Gift. Cause, that's not Gi. Gift. Is it really you? I must have changed so much. I mean you walked right past me severally today. I'm sorry, I... just... You look. Bo. Um. Diff. Errant. Marilyn chuckled. She couldn't remember the last time Lucas stammered before a woman. She winked at Gift and excused herself. Thanks to the deal she and Gift had, Marilyn's cooking skills had tremendously improved and Gift's hair, skin, dress sense had equally improved incredibly. Her hidden beauty was pronounced. So far Gift's stunning new look had been the talk of church members. Many brothers who avoided her now chased her fiercely. Marilyn had always known Gift was a very beautiful lady inside and out, who just needed a little polishing. Cause. Good news. After months of proposing and reproposing, Gift said, Yes! At last. Glory. I'm going to celebrate this. Thank you, Jesus. 
Holy Spirit, I am grateful. I ran to you when I was scared about where Lucas was headed with Angel. Lord, you answered me and revealed the secret things to us. I am so grateful sweet Holy Spirit. Thank you for opening his eyes. I know the treasure that gift is and I know how special Lucas is, and thank you because you have blessed our family. Marilyn ended her prayer with a huge smile, because she was so excited to welcome her dear friend into her family, the one who was the very gift for Lucas. The secret things belong to the Lord our God, but the revealed things belong to us and our children forever to observe all the words of this law. Deuteronomy 29, 29 Brothers and sisters, that's all for this video. If you liked this video, feel free to like it, comment and share with people around you. And don't forget to subscribe to Hope and Dominion Christian Animation channel for more edifying videos and also not to miss any of our upcoming videos. God bless you and remember, Jesus loves you.